In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for potassium carbonate plus sulfuric acid. So it's a double displacement reaction here, and we form this potassium sulfate in this carbonic acid. But the carbonic acid, that'll decompose. It'll break down into CO2 plus H2O. And this is the reaction you're often asked to write the net ionic equation for. So let's go with this, and we'll use these rules to guide our work. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So potassium compounds are very soluble. They dissociate into their ions. Sulfuric acid, strong acid, strong electrolyte, that's going to dissociate. Again, another potassium compound here. Carbon dioxide, that's a gas, and water, that is a liquid. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So potassium carbonate, potassium's in group one on the periodic table. It'll have a plus one ionic charge and the whole carbonate, that's always two minus. Good one to remember. We have two potassium ions, and I won't write the states right now, let's do that at the end. And one carbonate ion, CO3, two minus. Plus for the sulfuric acid, hydrogen, group one, one plus, the sulfate always two minus. So we have two hydrogen ions, two of those H plus hydrogen ions, plus we have the sulfate ion, SO4, two minus. And these are the states for the reactants in our net ionic equation. Products, we said plus, two minus. So we'll have again, two potassium ions, two K plus, plus we'll have the sulfate ion. And then for gases and liquids, we don't split those apart in net ionic equations, so just CO2 plus H2O. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not really interested in them. In the reactants, I can see I have two potassium ions. In the products, I also have two potassium ions. There's a sulfate ion, and again in the products. But what's left that's the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus H2SO4. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium carbonate plus sulfuric acid. You note that charge is conserved. We have two minus here, two times one plus, that's two plus. So they balance out, our products are all neutral. And if you count the atoms up, each type of atom, they'll be the same on both sides. So mass is conserved as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus H2SO4. Thanks for watching.